Guys, welcome to Snacks and Facts. Yes. Facts and Snacks. I messed that up. What's going on, guys? Hello, and welcome to Facts and Snacks. Or Snacks and Facts. Whichever you choose. We are going to talk about some facts yep. while we eat some snacks. And today we're going beekeeping. We're going to be with the one and only Michael Lewis. Yep. He's going to teach us all about bees and how to beekeep. So let's do it. Let's go. Going beekeeping. I've never yeah, done are. anything like that before. It's gonna be cool. I'm excited. I'm a little scared. I'm not gonna lie. Bees are bees, and I feel like they can sting you uh, at any moment. Well, they at any can. Point in time. Sting you now. I don't know. I'm just scared. I don't know what I'm gonna. <laughs> scared of Bailey driving or scared of bees? Look at everything. There's a cop coming too. Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, I don't know if, if like Michael knows a lot about bees. By the looks of it, I think he does. I would assume so. I work with him all the time, and it seems like he knows what he's talking about, but maybe I'll, I think I'd like to quiz him. Okay. Um, just because Google has a lot of information, so maybe we can look up some Google, Google facts. Google always right. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Google says that only the female bees are the workers. Oh. So all the workers are the female bees. So I think I'll, I'll maybe we can test them a little bit. So you're gonna try and like look all smart. Yeah, so yeah, and not laugh at all. Wait, what is it? It says that one lifespan of a bee is one teaspoon of <laughs> honey. Oh, that's oh. cool. Let me find one real quick. Oh, this one. Drone bees are male bees, but they have the biggest eyes of bees to find the queen bee. Oh. So we got our facts. Yeah. Try to sneak into the conversation. Do so you think he's gonna have like something that we can wear? I don't know. I don't want to go just like this. I, I'm gonna feel naked. Look! <laughs> Look at all this uh, deliciousness. Yeah. Thanks. We're gonna call it Michael versus Google. Hey guys, so we're here. I'm very yes. excited to play with the bees. You guys remember your facts? Right? Bee facts? Your bee facts, yeah. Uh, mine is uh, all worker bees are female. A teaspoon of honey is what one bee produces in its entire life. Mm -hmm. The drone bees, which are male bees, have bigger eyes to locate the queen. So we're gonna try to sneak it into the conversation. Uh, okay. Extra points if you can do it without laughing and make it seem like very, very natural. Sounds good. Wow. So okay. I'm so ready to play with bees, so let's go and do this. Let's do, do it. it. Have Michael. Do you um, have a number? Gosh, well, I think right now we have three full size colonies and like three starter colonies, so it's probably 300,000 ish. Oh, oh that's cool. Not even a little a short there. So a lot of the new uh, oh, yeah, my... <laughs> bees that are just starting to fly to collect uh, nectar and stuff will come out in the heat of the day and do their first orientation flights around the hive. So the, you see how some of them are making big circles all the way around the hives and stuff? Yeah. Those are the bees doing orientation flights. So those are like so. the baby bees on their like first flight? Yeah. And this time of year, colonies are really healthy they want to reproduce and that's how they make a new hive. They will make queens and then once those queens hatch, the original queen will leave with a bunch of bees and start a new colony and leave one of the newer queens behind okay. in the hive to continue that colony. So they, they create new colonies. That's terrible. Yeah. So when you buy when you buy the bees, you buy all, all female, right? Because those are the workers. <laughs> <laughs> those are the workers. <laughs> Right? <laughs> Pretty much. I mean, there's some males in there too, but they're not really working. <laughs> <laughs> All the bees that work are the female, right? <laughs> yes. The, no, the male bees. The male right? bees just chill until they and mate with a queen and then they die. Are you? Are you serious? Yeah. No. Really? I thought yeah. drones yeah. were male. Drones. That's what they do. The male bees. They so just, they just drones. Do they have like? the biggest eyes to locate the queen bee they or do. something? They have huge eyes. Oh, for sure. All right, makes sense. Like how much honey did they? <laughs> like a teaspoon, right? In their whole life? For a teaspoon? Like per bee? Yeah. I don't know, that's a great question. 
about a teaspoon. Oh, wow. <laughs> we'll go with a teaspoon. Yeah. <laughs> a teaspoon. A teaspoon and a half on a, on a good, you know, if they live more than three weeks. It's still lit, it's still counting. Awesome. Oh my gosh. I feel very COVID safe. Like, I feel very safe. I know, right? It's like a hazmat. Guys! Oh my gosh, I'm freaking oh, out now. Don't do that. Nah. You're stressing me out. So these little Oh my gosh, boxes, I hear the buzzing. I built these little boxes, and these are called nucleus boxes for small colonies. Wait, so you can build them yourself? Yeah, yeah. Okay, because beehives hard. are not cheap. They're I not. looked them up. This They're is an empty hive. Oh, okay. This is just to demo. So I was like, wow, that's so cool. That's to... so sad. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, he just picked it right up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it can happen. I've stepped By on dead two bees? Twice. I stepped on a bee stinger. And so when do we get to try the honey? <laughs> wow. Johnny's hiding his I am not going to get stung. I'm not going to get stung. March 6th, 21. Uh huh. Transfer. Or Got three it. frames, three frames. So I put three frames. I made splits from here with queen cells in them on the sixth. Uh huh. And then I put three frames on each side, and there's a queen cell, at least one queen cell on each side, and then there's an entrance on this side and an entrance on this side, and this okay. divider keeps the bees from blending. So then you can make two colonies out of this little box. What? These colonies probably have more like sixty thousand. But when they get full size, like five boxes, it'll be about a hundred thousand. <laughs> the bees are working. What are they actually doing? Uh, they're collecting pollen and nectar. What and does then, that mean? Oh, they'll go into the flowers and they stick their little tongue inside the flower and they, they drink the nectar and they put it in like a little stomach basically. Yeah. And then they pack pollen into pouches on their legs. Whoa, whoa, they, whoa. So they, <laughs> there's different things with nectar and pollen? Yes. Okay, can you say that again? Nectar on, goes Bailey. in the stomach. Yes. We all knew this. <laughs> you have, so how did it get waxed? Bailey, you have they like 15 bees on your back. Are you being serious? Sorry. No. <gasps> Yeah, look, they're all going crazy. Uh, other than are the, there none? Other, none. other than the queen bee. <laughs> Guys, yeah. it's the, the thing. So those are feeder jars. I put those on here to make sure these bees had enough food. First pull, like when I first pulled these bees out of this colony, all the workers are gonna fly back here. And so this colony won't have any workers to collect any resources. Oh. So they will starve to death okay. if you don't feed them. So this is a swarm oh I caught yesterday. Oh my. You caught it yesterday? Yes, but it came from my hives. Oh, okay. So a new queen bee is in here. Yeah, a new queen hatched and oh I'll have goodness. Kathy send you the video. Yes. Look, there's a bunch of them right here. No, he just touched it. So that's a honeycomb. Does anyone have long hair? Is that why there's a clip there? Do you <laughs> hear that? So I these are the that queens that came out of the hives. Two queens in here. You <gasps> see that big one? Yes. See the big bee in there? That's one queen. Where? No way. Oh, See wow. Yeah. yeah. Oh. So, because the female bees are the workers. So, yeah. is there no mm -hmm. queen in this one? There's not. There was yesterday, but. Can I let these guys out? Yeah, you totally can. Oh, yes. They so can we're going to leave out. that there. Yeah, they can actually get out. Oh, my goodness. Oh, you're right. Go. Oh, he's mad. It's okay. Gosh. But I can't Here's see you turn this bees. What in the world? Can I pet them? No, this was empty. I, I collected this swarm yesterday. <laughs> guys, look at the queen bee by itself. <laughs> There we go. I can't see a so, thing. Oh, they're already swarming her. Where's the honey, Michael? See, see how the bees are marching towards the queen? Yeah. That is crazy. Yeah. Do are you able to mark them this guy vibrating I right there? What I, is he doing? So that's called the waggle dance, and that's how they communicate where to find like pollen and nectar and stuff. Oh wow. Yeah, the waggle dance. It's really scientifically named. Oh. It's all wet in there. Wet. It's crazy how dark it is compared to the Oh, that's, that's so crazy. What happens, what happens to a bee when it stings you? They uh, have like a little poison sac that's attached to some of their organs. Barb and their stinger, so when it goes in far enough, it pulls out that sac and some of their organs, and it like pulsates and pumps the poison into you. But the bee dies. Nice. Yes. There you go. Do now it. grab that edge. Now mm -hmm. do the other side. There you go. Ooh. Now you can grab that ear. Oh, there there you we go. go. There you go. Whoa. So that's a honey frame. That is so cool. Here, let's, uh, <laughs> why don't you spin this way and you <gasps> go this them. way? Okay. Look at them, their heads are like in the little thing. So that's because we smoked them, they're eating honey. Why? Because they think there's a forest fire and they're gonna have to flee. Boom. Woo! So see this? That workout. That is brood. brood. Capped brood. What is so brood? Those, brood. Are, those are larval <laughs> bees under there. They do. Littler. Those are their babies. They do. <laughs> they're just little baby bees. With one hand. Okay. 
Uh, from grab, the here. Yeah, grab the frame from the middle. There you go. It'll be easy to pull out. <laughs> there you go. And just gently lift. There you go. Uh, nice. They're coming over there. Go ahead. You got it. They're getting angry. They're not going to mess with you. He said they're really getting angry. Hard. There you go. Johnny did it bare hands. Yo, props. Wow. That's awesome. Beautiful. All right. <laughs> We gotta find the bee, Johnny. Uh -huh. No, no, no. He said, no, no, no. Hi, Michael. Hey. Thanks for going? sitting down with us. Yeah. Would you mind just like letting us know what we just did? Just talk us through. We just went through a colony that was a swarm from one of my hives, which is not something you really want to happen. Put the queen in that clip. Mm -hmm. So then we just went through to look and see what was going on. We noticed one of the Cliffs, I had found two queens. One of the clips had no queen in it, so somehow she got out. The other clip did have a queen, so we kind of looked for the, you know, the other queen in there, couldn't find her, and then we released the other queen. You guys got to pick stuff up and look at bees, and uh, then we talked about it out here. All right, <laughs> are we ready to go? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh. You want to fill up a I would love honey to. jar? Okay, here you go. Michael, thank you so much. You're welcome, man. Yes. Thanks any, for coming by. Any last it. words? But last words would be thank you guys for coming by. It was super, super fun. So I'm glad we got. Oh to yeah. Thank you, Michael. Yeah. This yes. is awesome. Good this. time. I have pollen in my honey. <laughs> Come on now. Let's go. What dreams are made of. <laughs> All right, guys, we are done beekeeping. That was an amazing experience. I'm a pro. Johnny's oh, a pro. Did you see me? Johnny's a pro. Yeah. Touch it with he his is. bare hands. <laughs> but let's be honest, Bailey was the MVP. She was. She sure was. She was doing everything. Sure oh was. my she goodness. Was. But that was great. This looks greater. Ooh. That was being a little working bee over there. Oh, <laughs> oh goodness. <laughs> we are at Dulce. Cravings. Yeah, buddy. Yes. So cute. I got Nutella, strawberry, and bananas with it. So did Bailey. I got the same thing. Johnny, what did you get? Oreos and banana and Nutella. The Oreos. Let me try this. Mm. See how this tastes. Mm. Delicious. All right. So that was fun. Mm -hmm. Michael was saying mm -hmm. to see what he actually said about bees being like the church. I love to find yeah, out. like a healthy church. Yeah. Yeah. So Michael said that a healthy beehive. Mm -hmm. It's like a healthy church. A healthy beehive produces more beehives, so a healthy mm -hmm. church should produce more churches. It's meaning we should actually evangelize. Mm -hmm. We should tell others about Jesus. It's not only a good thing that we do, but it's actually commanded. Jesus tells us, go and make disciples. Go tell other people who I am. Baptize them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And teach them everything that we've been doing, everything mm -hmm. that you've been taught. First, we have to love God with our heart, and we actually have to care about others. Personally, by my experience, the church has been one of the most loving places that I've found. I don't think i found a more loving group of people than in the church. Not even in school. I don't know, just anywhere. Church has been the place where I've felt the most loved. Yeah, I can say for one, and I hope everyone has this experience. When you first go to, like, at least for me, because I've been at Emmanuel my mm -hmm. whole life. When I first ever met Ken Corver, <laughs> I promise you, he felt like my grandpa. He was family. Like, from when he saw me, shook my hand, gave me a hug, like, welcome, you are welcome. Mm -hmm. You Like, that's just how it is. And then now growing up into the church, I see it not through Ken, but through everyone. And so everyone that I invite, family, friends, they all say the same thing. It's like, I feel so welcome here. Like, mm -hmm. I feel so, they're not being judged on mm -hmm. how they go into the church because when they come out, it's a whole, they're a whole mm -hmm. different person. How the church loves on everyone that comes in, no matter who you are, what you're doing, where you're from, like, it's the same love that everyone gets and it's, it's amazing. I'll tell you uh, my experience with church here in the United States. We got here when I was 11. My family, we had one backpack each and about $20 for all of us. First place we went to was a church. Five of those dollars we used it for a taxi <laughs> to get to church on Sunday. I never felt so much love. Uh, everyone Whoa. just embraced us. First Sunday, being mm -hmm. there at church, I met another kid named Jonathan, Jonathan Gonzalez. We were still friends. Started telling me about his PlayStation. He had a PlayStation 2 or a PlayStation 3 at the time. I can't remember which one it was. He leaves. He comes back with his PlayStation, his older PlayStation. He just gives it to me. He just gives me his play old PlayStation. I'm like, who is this kid? I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for loving me like that. I didn't yeah. have a TV yet. Well, that, that's the kind of love that I'm like, whoa, he doesn't know mm. me. He just knows my name. First Sunday here, he gives me something that I'm sure he values and his treasures. Yeah. Mm. We see someone new, embrace them. See somebody at school that might not be as cared for and I love for. 
Christians, we should look out for them. I would say, um, I've definitely experienced the same thing as Andrew, Harold mm. Corver. And I remember walking into the um, fellowship hall as a, a little girl, Pastor Harold would be there at the door greeting and he knew my name. I think that was the mm. weirdest sighting thing, like knew him, you know, I didn't yeah. talk to him on a regular mm. basis, that he called me by my name every mm. single time that I entered into the church. That made me feel loved and known mm. and like welcomed every single time. Through like leaders who were there, mm. like my life group leader, mm. it was the little things of like consistently being there for me that has yeah, made me know that I was loved by yeah. the church and by the community that the church is. People ask me like, do you still go to church? Like, are you forced? Are you, I'm not forced to that my parents and me both want the same thing. And so we both want to go to church, mm -hmm. but because of the love that I get from the church and the love that I get from God, mm -hmm. I go back all the time because it's just fulfilling and it's a love you'll never find anywhere mm -hmm. else. Truly. Love one another, mm -hmm. care for one another. Pray for one another. That's what we're supposed to do as Christians. And we close this episode by telling you that we're going to have another one. We're going to go somewhere really cool. Yeah, stay tuned. You'll find out stay soon tuned. enough. And we're going to have another really cool snack. I finished it probably like a minute ago. Or two I, I cannot this. finish this. I'm going to take this from my wife. This thing was so no, good. Let's be safe out there. Let's be safe out there. All right, guys. Later.